What's going on? I'm Brother Sherman Cox. And this is my gospel harp. Yeah, today I wanted to do a video. Six reasons why you should learn harmonica. Especially if you're trying to get into music. You're trying to learn music. You, you may be older, I don't know. I started playing harmonica when I was 46, something like that, 47, 46, 47, I don't know. I need to figure it out. At any, reason, at any rate, I'm 50 now, been playing for a few years, so I probably have a standpoint from which to tell folk why they should learn harmonica. Now, this is, I saw a video by Jake Knows Harmonica. Go ahead, look up to the top and go ahead, click that thing. Go ahead, click that and uh, I'll give you a link over to his video that I'm speaking of. And uh, he had 10 reasons. I got six of them. Some of them are the same, some of them aren't, but hey, that is it. Number one, it's easier than other instruments. Easier than other instruments. Some folk. Uh, over on Jake's uh, video, people were kind of going back and forth saying, hey, it's easier. It, it, it ain't easy. And I think that is an important component. It ain't easy to play the harmonica. Uh, some folk think it is. They look at it say, hey, it look like a toy. You think it's easy. I encourage you to look at this video up here. Video by Buddy Green. Now, nah, nah, it ain't easy, but... It is easier. Now, usually when somebody comes in and says, hey, it's easy, they talking about they're going to be playing like this. Yeah, it don't take long to be able to play like that. It, it, it is pretty easy to play like that, but hey, you don't want to play like that. <laughs> so playing the harmonica ain't easy. But it is easier than playing other instruments. I played around on, I, I took seven, eight years of trumpet lessons back in the day. And, and, and trumpet is harder than the harmonica. Uh, you know, to get started, to get to a reasonable level, it's harder. You got all of this uh, embouchure that you got to work. And you do have some embouchure issues with the, uh, with the harmonica. We'll talk about it later. I think I got a video up on, well, maybe I, not yet. I need to get that video finished on the tongue block armature versus the pucker. But at any rate, the trumpet requires a lot of strength in that armature. You be playing for, uh, you practice a long time before you sound just bad. <laughs> <laughs> you got to play a long time before you are even bad. I mean, not not good at all. So you so you you start out just totally awful and then on the trumpet you play for a long time just to get bad. You know, and I don't mean good bad, I mean bad bad. On the harmonica, you practice for a while, you can get you can get pretty good, pretty. You know, you can get, you can get pretty good. In 6 months you can get pretty decent on a harmonica. You still ain't going to be no expert. I've been playing longer than that. I ain't no expert. I'm like at the intermediate level. But at any rate, uh, the trumpet is a, is, is, is a rough instrument. When I when I came back to start playing music again, because I had been playing, uh, I played six, seven years as a child, took six months of piano as a child. I was like, hey, I want to play some music again. So what did I do? Brought out, broke out my trumpet and my trumpet. I started playing. And I couldn't play long at all. I played for like a couple couple minutes, and then my breath, my, my mouth was all gone, and, and it sounded just totally awful. So the trump, the, the the harmonica is easier than that. It's easier than that. It's easier than I played the piano, and oh man, you know I I played around with that a little bit. I played around with the guitar. Playing the harmonica is going to be easier for someone just getting started so it's not easy it's not easy and you're going to want to move forward to become an expert it's going to take your 
yo many hours uh as as the as they say what does it take ten thousand hours to become an expert or something like that i don't know at any rate it's gonna take a while to get good but it's gonna be shorter than the time you put in to say a trumpet or 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 a guitar or a piano so let me move on forward number two a second reason why you should play the harmonica ain't a ton of competition out there you know um you look in there there isn't just there isn't a lot you know especially you go to a church let's say you go to a black church you go to a black church and if they got one musician it's a pianist or a keyboardist if they got two musicians they got a keyboardist and a drummer and if they got three they got a keyboardist a drummer and a um and a bassist a guy on the bass then they start filling in the other stuff they may have a saxophonist you know they have some horns they may have uh they may have uh uh what I say, a saxophone, they may have some guitarists, you know, they have some of these other pieces, you know, but what they ain't got is a harmonica player. <laughs> in fact, you go up in there with your harmonica and they're going to be looking at you like, why are you coming up here with a toy and we about to take care of business? <laughs> so you are going to be in a position where you can be an advocate for the instrument because you're going to be dealing after you done put your time in because it's easy easier but not easy but you're going to put your time in you're going to hey you're going to be better than that because you ain't going to be at the intermediate level <laughs> well you're gonna be better so you're gonna do that and then they're gonna be like oh man he taking care of business and we ain't got no other harmonica player in fact most of the people you know don't know a harmonica player the only harmonica the players they know is grandpa sitting on the back porch doing <laughs> they don't know no harmonica players they know a guitarist they don't know a lot of guitarists I don't know why there ain't more guitarists in the black church. But, you know, there aren't a lot of church. There ain't a lot of churches, so that probably ain't the case. But um, in other churches, they got guitars, you know. At any rate, you don't know no harmonica players. <laughs> you don't know. And so there ain't a whole lot of competition. You can get good, and if you're good, you're going to be in a class by yourself. Number three. Hey, you can take this thing anywhere. Put it in it. Look how small it is. I can put that up in my top pocket. I can go on about my business. I can go about my daily work. And then during lunchtime, I can eat my sandwich and then clean my teeth. You know, wash your mouth out. I, I don't do that like I should, but I need to. You know, brush your teeth before you put use your harmonica. But then you come on out there. <laughs> Hey, you get to practice. Hey, you get to practice anywhere. I'd like to see a keyboardist try to do that. Even them small keyboards. I used to have I used to have one over here. One of them little ones that be like that or whatever. You still ain't keeping that in your pocket. And that's a small one. And 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 the keys don't even feel right. So you got that little keyboard. You you can't you you can't and you can't deal like with a with a harmonica you 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 can take your harmonica anywhere uh a guitar you can't take your guitar anywhere so you really can get more practice you can get more practice because you can take it anywhere anytime you got five minutes yeah and check it out I remember I was at work, you know, I'd be posting videos of myself playing and they were like, man, that sounds kind of good. Can you play something now? You know, and then all you got to do is reach in your pocket's top pocket. You ain't said nothing but a word. <laughs> hey, and when you play for your coworkers, make sure you put a bend in there. 
Hey, they really like that. <laughs> Put that bin in there. Where am I at? I said, hey, you can take it anywhere. Now, number four. Hey, it's cheap to get started. Now, just like the easy part, they ain't easy. They really ain't all that cheap. But it is cheap to get started. See, this is a Lee Oscar. Cost me like $45. $45. To get a pro level instrument I'd like to see you get a pro level guitar for $45 if you get a pro level guitar for $45 that thing is gonna be falling apart before you get it home you can't get you can't even get a a a a, a beginner level guitar that's in reasonable sh Well, you probably could get a beginner level guitar for $45. Get that thing secondhand. So forget what I was about to say. At any rate, you can't get you a pro level start here. Now, it is one thing that you do need to keep in mind is that this thing is designed to play in one, or t one uh, key. So this is a C. It's designed to play in C. Normally play it in G. So maybe you could play it, but you can play it in a, in, a, in a number of different keys. At any rate, the point I'm making is that you need more of these. So, well, you need more of them if you're going to play with somebody. You're going to play with somebody else. You're going to need more than $45. You're going to need three, four, five, six, seven, even up to 12 times $45. So you start doing that and you realize, hey, man, that's about what uh, that's about what an intermediate level guitar costs. <laughs> so it definitely is true that it's cheap to get started, but it ain't cheap. Um, but, hey, you can get this. And really, you got one you got one uh, one uh, harmonica. If you ain't playing with nobody, you can go a long ways with just one. Get you one that's near the near your vocal range, and then you can just uh, pop on a background tape and play. What if the background tape ain't in the right key? All you got to do is see the key it need to be in. Go get you what's the name of it? Amazing slow downer, and change the key of the background tape into the right key, and so then you're ready to go. <laughs> Yes, sir. So they cheap to get started. Number, that was number four. Number five, you don't have to learn how to read music to play the harmonica. In fact, a lot of times you're supposed to be learning to play it by ear. Now, I understand, you know, because when I came back to playing around with the piano again later in life, um, two, three years ago, I went searching on the web and I saw that they're now teaching, some people are teaching keyboard by ear. And so you're learning chords versus learning, you know, reading music and guitar. A lot of that uh, pedagogy online is chord based. So you're not necessarily learning music, although it's good to learn to, how to read music, but you don't have to learn how to read music. But what's the point that I'm making? Harmonica is pretty much designed for you to learn how to play by ear now i do think there's a couple of things that you need to do uh one thing that would be nice is if you could look at a look at some key look at some music and to be able to just pick out what are the what key is it in what key is it in what's one thing that i learned when i took trumpet and so i'm able to look at the music see the key that it's in then figure out okay if I'm going to be playing on the harmonica in second position, what key do I need to be? Then which harmonica do I need to play? So it is. there are some things that it's important for you to know and understand. But you don't have to learn as much as others learn. So, um, so what did I say? Um, don't have to learn the notes. It's good to learn the notes. Um, especially if you're playing chromatic harmonica I, that's one thing that i'm talking about i'm talking about diatonic harmonica not the chromatic harmonica you know i got i have a chromatic harmonica and i play it i can play pretty well in the key of c <laughs> i can play my chromatic like it's a diatonic in c but 
if I need to go into another key, hey, I got to be getting that button going and, and it becomes more difficult. So uh, so if you're going to be playing on the chromatic, you probably, uh, it can be helpful for you to learn music. But even that, I've heard that, uh, I, I don't know by experience, but uh, you, you learn by ear and then maybe add in the music as well. But that's number five. Number six, and this is a good one that I learned. I found out that people are using the harmonica to help people with pulmonary disease. I'm going to provide a link to uh, a video uh, here where, where you see some people who are, who are uh, teaching harmonica to help people to get their strength in their breathing back. So, you know, because the nice thing about harmonica versus other instruments, I remember when I was first learning how to play the trumpet, I mean, when I was first learning how to play the harmonica, I was doing like you play with the trumpet, where you take a break, big breath and then you blow, big breath and then blow. But on the harmonica, no, you, you, get, you get sound whether you're breathing in or whether you're breathing out. So, hey. Breathing in, breathing out. They both give you noise, give you sound, and that's nice. It's helping people who who are, need to learn how to relearn how to breathe or to strengthen breathing muscles. So it's going to help you physically. <laughs> it's going to help your breathing physically. So let's go back and look at everything. Number one, it's easier than other instruments. I ain't said it's easy, but it's easier than other instruments. Number two, ain't a lot of competition. You ain't got to fight with all the people who's trying to come in. In fact, you come in, the only fight you have is for somebody to take you seriously when you're getting up there with a harmonica because they think you're playing a toy. But you're going to show them you ain't playing a toy. Number three, you can take this thing anywhere. Got it in my top pocket. Pull it out anytime. Number four, A, it's cheap to get started. $40, one thing I forgot to say, don't get one of them $5 harmonicas. I bought me, when I first started a harmonica, I bought me a special 20, and then I bought my son one of them $5 harmonicas, you know, them cheap harmonicas. Now, them things are toys. Now, I was playing, and I was like, man, why, why is it so hard for you to play? I asked my son. So I took that harmonica from him and started playing, and I was like, man, I know why. You can't play this thing. That thing was so hard to play, couldn't play it at all. I went and got him a special 20. So he had a special 20 like I had. And then he played a little bit easier, and then he played a little bit better. So it's cheaper to get started. Don't get that $5 one. You can pay $40 and get a top of the line. You can pay a $20 harmonica and get you a decent, reasonable harmonica. But um, number five, you don't have to read the notes. Uh, you can do that later on. You need to learn some music theory. Music theory is always helpful, but you ain't got to have it especially to get started. And number six, you helping your body when you do that. When you play the harmonica, you're building up your breathing muscles because you're breathing in, breathing out, and it all makes some noise. Yes, sir. Till next time, I'm Brother Sherman Cox. This is my gospel harp. Hey, I forgot. Go ahead and subscribe. Click the button. It's either down there or down there. One of them. Click it and subscribe. <laughs>